हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन यू डी पी सॉकेट बिफोर गोइंग टू द कोडिंग पार्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टूड द क्लाइंट सर्वर इंटरेक्शन डायग्राम ऑफ यू डी पी सॉकेट एज वी हैव सीन इन द बेसिक ऑफ नेटवर्किंग डैट यू डी पी इज कनेक्शन लेस प्रोटोकॉल राइट दैट इज द क्लाइंट डज नॉट फॉर्म ए कनेक्शन विद द सर्वर like in tcp and instead just it sends a datagram and the server need not accept a connection and it just waits for datagram to arrive and datagram contains the address of sender which the server used to send a data to the correct client we also know that UTP does not check for error in the exchanged diagram right so that's why it gives that is why it gives very fast communication now as you see in the interaction diagram it is very similar to TCP but there are various major changes in UDP after creating a socket object in udp after creating a socket object the server process bind that socket to a particular ip address and port number after successful winding the server process will start waiting until datagram packet arrive from client in tcp we have seen the concept of listen and accept which makes a tcp connection oriented protocol but in udp there is no such thing that's why it is a connection less protocol now after binding the client server enters into the request response in finite loop when the client process finishes it exits from the it exit by closing down the connection and at that moment the server process probably goes back to the waiting state i am again repeating here that the this interaction diagram is a very simplified representation of the actual reality in practice any production server process has multiple threads or sub processes to handle concurrent connection from thousands of client over respective virtual channels now let's jump to the coding part i am using pycharm id for coding let's create udp server first as we all now know that first we have to import the socket module now let's create socket object so socket sock is equal to socket dot socket here we have to pass an argument uh, two argument in this the first argument we all know is socket dot af underscore init which belongs to ipv4 family and the second argument we have to pass here is socket dot sock underscore dgram the sock underscore dgram here means that the connection less udp protocol as we have seen in the interaction diagram we now have to bind the socket with ip address and port number so there is a method called bind as we have seen already here in bind we have to pass two argument uh, one tuple and the tuple consisting of ip address and port number here again as an in previous lecture i am providing local host and port number so local host is nothing but 127.0.0.1 and port number let's suppose 12345 okay now let's write in finite loop for sending and receiving data so while true 
for sending the data usually uh, to send the data using udp protocol we use rdcv from method of socket module so rdcv from returns two thing that is data as well as address that is very important point here so let's write first so data comma address is equal to socK dot RDCV from now in TCP uh, here why we are not using RDCV method which we have used in TCP because in TCP once the connection gets established the address information does not change right but in other other another other hand in UDP UDP is a connectionless protocol so here we have to also receive the address so that we want to send the data back so that's why in RCV from there are two things data as well as address but in RCV method we only have data part because the con connection is established here the connection is not established if we want to send back the data to the correct client we want address as well right and in RCV from we have to pass an integer and this integer represent the number of byte you want to accept so here we are trying to provide enough byte to cover the entire message because we have seen in the background of networking that um, the packet of uh, UDP message should be equal to uh, the message the message size of the UDP should be equal to the packet size right so here we are trying to provide enough uh, bytes so let's uh, I am providing here let's say 4096 bytes now let's say we have to also send the data to the client so let's define message is hello I am UDP server here there also one important point is here we use send to method here for the udp the logic is same why we are using another method because we have to send the data to a particular address and in udp there is no connection established that's why we have to specifically provide the address so that's why there is another method send to so let's write sock dot send to it's take two argument one is message and another one is address and also let's print the data that we have received from the client from, that is received from let's print the data print data okay now and also the message should be in bytes here it is in a string but we have to send the message should be in byte so let's convert into bytes so bytes of hello okay and also we have to encode this message right so dot encode in utf-8 string okay now now let's write a simple client program which is able to interact with this server program all things are similar somewhat similar so i am copying from the server program up to this part right now i want to send a message to the server so let's define a message hello udp server again we know to send message here we have to provide we have to use send to method so client underscore socket dot send to and we have to encode the message as we all know into utf8 and uh, 
वी हैव टू फॉरवर्ड दिस वी हैव टू सेंड द मैसेज इन टू द लोकल होस्ट द एड्रेस सो आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन एंड द पोर्ट नंबर इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव राइट एंड ऑल्सो इफ द सर्वर सेंड सो वी हैव टू रिसीव दैट सो डेटा कॉमा एड्रेस इज इक्वल टू क्लाइंट अंडर स्कोर सॉकेट डॉट रिसीव फ्रॉम एंड ऑल्सो ही आर आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स and let's say print uh, server says and again print the data so print str data and after that we have to close the connection now let's run the code so first we will run the code of the server and now let's run the code of the client as you see here it says hello i am a udp server and now if we go to the server output we will see it prints hello udp server so in this lecture we have seen the message successfully receive and send between the server and the client and we also able to get a uh, knowledge about how udp socket works so thank you guys Thank you everyone